Welcome to YouTube, this is Dark Moon Tamer here, and tonight is going to be a deck profile debut, um, featuring my, my new clan I've been recently experimenting with, the Kagero clan, featuring the Seal Dragon series. Um, what inspired me, what got me into making Kagero was that I did, already did have the cards, already have, or in, well, I already have all the cards, most of them, and I recently got some, the rest of the Seal Dragons from a friend. So, why not make it a little bit better and just, you know, I did play, um, play test this last Friday with a, a new player, and, you know, it, I'm still trying to work on the buds on all this, but I know a friend who's an expert of the Kagero clan, so maybe he can give me some advice and on how to use it properly, but this is my personal pre personal preference on, player's preference on the Seal Dragon deck profile. <clears throat> so let's get on with deck. Um, so for starters, I run the starting vanguard for Steel Dragons, Steel Dragon Terry Cloth. Um, what he does, is he's also he's a four runner, so he you can call him to rear guard when you run on top of him. And his activation ability in the rear guard cycle, you especially you counterblast one with Steel Dragon in its name and put him in the soul. But here's the effect. If you have a Kagero Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's great rear guards and retire it. And your opponent opponent looks at the top four cards of his the top four cards of his deck and choose one up to one grade two unit and superior call it and then shuffle your deck. So my guess when that effect happens, because there's another unit that does effect by this. This deck relies on killing only grade 2 units, but it does retire most of your opponent's rear guards. So, you know, and it is kind of a bit of a cutesy card, personally. <clears throat> Alright, well, anyways, enough of that crap. Um, for triggered lineup, I run 4 heals um, and 12 criticals. Because, um, if you guys know me by now, I play very aggressively in the decks. Like, I really want to go critical heavy and power heavy. So, I guess that's my biggest problem is I'm still playing testing this. But, you know, seeing as though this is a cross ride for the blockade, then that makes a little bit more sense. Considering that he relies on, you know, critical lineups. And it does ruin your opponent's chances of winning. Or formation. Sorry, guys. Um... So, for a grade 1 lineup, I'm also running the 10k, 10k attacker, um, Seal Dragon Flannel. <laughs> he's just a 10k attacker all by himself. Whenever he was, whenever he's in a rearguard circle, as long as your vanguard is Seal Dragon, he powers up by 3,000. 3, so, you know, not much of a starting vanguard, but, you know. Next, I have four Seal Dragon Kurzis. My guess, so what it tells me is that I choose one card from my hand and discard it. When this unit is placed in the rearguard circle, if your vanguard's Kagero and your opponent has a great a grade two vanguard or rear guard, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. So I think the best way you can do this is as long as your vanguard has a grade two, any rear guard or vanguard, then it's best to draw a free card. I don't know. People say they run two of them, but I'm not so sure. Um, and then I'm also running two Seal Dragon Chambres. Um, what he does, if he's boosting, um, by a Soul Blast ability, whenever he boosts a monster, a unit with blockading his name, he powers up by 6,000. So he's a 4k attacker, but he's also, um, he gets a power boost by 6,000 whenever he boosts a blockade unit. Kind of reminds me of, um, that one for Revengers. I just forgot his name for Phantoms. And finally, your perfect guards, the uh, four Steel Dragon Rhino Crosses. I finally got them, so I'm happy about them. <laughs> Next, for grade two, I'm also running, I'm running the 12k attacker, Jacquard. Um, like I, as I said before, as long as your Vanguard is Steel Dragon, he gets 3,000 power. So from a 9k to a 12k. And then I'm also running out this new unit called Steel Dragon, um, Corderay. I guess you could say. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, he has a special counter blast ability. And whenever he's placed in a vanguard rearguard circle, if, you're, if, you're, if your vanguard's Kagero, you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your opponent's rearguards. 
and retire it, and your opponent checks the top four cards of his deck to search for a grade two and superior call it, and then shuffle your deck. So this has the same ability as Terry Cloth, but um, as long as he's in a Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. And then finally, I'm just running the 10k, the 10K Vanillas, um, Hungered Hellfire Dra Hell Dragon. I was thinking about actually doing the other, the Dragon Knight, the Seal Dragon Knight, but I think it might be a little bit of a, a risk. And this deck relies on Seal Dragon abilities. <clears throat> now remember guys, this is my player's preference and how the deck is, you know, built. Um, if you guys are co fellow Kagura players and you guys can relate to this deck, then, you know, please feel free to, to comment down below, down below after this video and tell me what you guys think. And so finally for grade three, I have none other than the original Seal Dragon, not the original, but Seal Dragon Blockade. What what the funny thing is though is that he was actually released in the very first um, the first set of um, BT one, at least I think he is. Is it BT two? I don't know. But then he was also released again in set eleven a few years later, and then he's also in I believe um, in one of those EB collections. So it's really nice to you know get him easier. Like he's a red print, but he's not that much valuable anymore. And then also came with him is his cross ride. Finally, the seal, the four Hellfire Seal Dragon Blockade Infernos. Of course, uh, he gets 2k power whenever blockades in the soul. And his letter break ability is you will special counter blast two and retire your opponent's grade two units. And then this unit gets 10k 10k extra at the end of the turn. So he gets that's a 23,000 bonus total. And um. Personally, I've, I've grown kind of a bit of attached to this deck a little bit already, just because it took me a little longer to actually understand how the effects work and how to make it better. I know the, the original um, Kagero player in the episode, in the series, was Kai, but he's also, um, there's also Miwa, too. I think Miwa actually ran the um, Seal Dragon version before, and then went switch to Dauntless. Now, I know people may think that Dauntless and Dragon Govalord to Rebirth is 10 times better than this, but personally, I can't afford those two, and I have one Dauntless Reverse in my reverse book. So, that's no, a uh, no-no right there. So, anyways, guys, tell me what you think about this deck profile. It needs to be changed up a bit. If you guys have your own thoughts about it, if it's, you know, an okay theme for starters of a Kagero. And, you know, like I said, guys, this is a player's preference, and this is my one of my experiments, so... If you guys have anything to say about this deck profile at all, just leave that comment down below. Remember to, remember to subscribe, like this video, dislike, rate, comment, and, you know, if you guys have your own personal preference about this, then, you know, you guys can give me a little bit of advice what to do. So anyways, guys, that's all I pretty much have right now at the current time. So, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, and remember to tune in for some more um, ep ranty episodes and deck profiles. I'm pretty sure there will be a deck profile in a couple more weeks. Um, because the uh, EB11 will be coming out pretty soon, and I'll be doing a Shadow Paladin deck, deck profile for witches, so please stay tuned for that. And so anyways, guys, this is Dark Moon Tamer, and hope you guys have a, had a great Halloween, and if I'm not up pretty soon, then have a great turkey day. So anyways, guys, have a great week, and stay busy, keep on card fighting, and I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to just be yourself, and have fun, and remember... And more importantly, like I said, just be yourself. Toodles, guys.